Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a delicious Popeye using your leftover turkey or chicken. So if you're ready, let's get started. We're going to begin by preheating our oven to 375 degrees. Once we have that going on, we're going to turn on our skillet, set it on medium heat and melt four tablespoons of butter. Once the butter melts, we're going to add two medium sized potatoes, cut them into bite sized pieces. And we're just going to season our potatoes with salt and black pepper. So now we're just going to allow them to cook for about five to seven minutes. Okay, and after five minutes, we're going to add carrots, chopped celery, and half of a small white onion. Now we're just going to mix it and allow it to cook for another five minutes. Okay, so while we wait, we're going to grab two cups of chicken broth and we're going to mix four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So just mix it in it, just mix it in there and dissolve it. Okay, so once we have that, set it to the side. Okay, and after two minutes, we're going to add two minced garlic cloves. Give it about 30 seconds. Now we're going to add fresh thyme, sage, black pepper, and I'm going to be adding a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. And let me tell you that it already smells delicious. So just mix it all together, give it about 30 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to add our leftover chicken or turkey. Just make sure that you shred it, cube it, but just add it in there. Okay, so once that's mixed, we're going to add our chicken broth. And two cups of milk. Make sure that your skillet is big enough. To add some fresh peas, fresh peas, canned peas. Just make sure that you mix it. You make sure that you're constantly mixing so like that it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan. So just allow it to come to a simmer so like that our gravy can begin to thicken up. Once it comes to a simmer, taste it for salt and see if you want to adjust it. And for me, it's perfect and let me tell you that it is delicious. So now we are ready to place our biscuits. So grab your pre-made biscuits, place them on top and just butter them. Place it in the oven and allow it to bake between 20 to 25 minutes at 375 degrees. All right, you guys, and after 20 minutes, our pot pie is ready, so now we can get ready to enjoy. All right, you guys, so we're just going to allow it to cool down for about 10 minutes, and then we can get ready for the fun part. Okay, and after 10 minutes, we can now get ready for the fun part. So I am so ready. Look at that. Alrighty guys, and now we are ready to enjoy. Yeah. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's honestly super easy. You know, and of course, you know, using the, the chicken or turkey that you have left over makes it even faster. So I am so ready. So grab it. Make sure you grab a little bit of everything. Cheers and enjoy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The flavors of Thanksgiving. So good. Of course. I love biscuit and gravy. So this is just perfect. So good. And, and if you don't like your your biscuits to get coated, you know, with all of the mixture, then just cook them separate. But honestly, this is honestly the best. So good. 
Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make a super easy and delicious pot pie. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you like this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.